Hello everyone, in the previous video we have learned how to draw a schematic. The next step is to design a PCB layout. How to design PCB layout plays an important role in PCB design. So this video may be the most important video in the tutorial. So focus on and learn how to PCB layout together with me. First open the PCB we have generated before. We can see that these components are randomly placed. We need to place them reasonably. First of all, the components used for connection need to be placed on the edge. Like this USB socket is used for a power supply, which needs to be placed on the edge. You can put it on the bottom, right, top, or left. Here I put it on the left. There are a lot of components here such as resistors and capacitors. So how do we place them? Here is a quick way, and that is to lay out according to the schematic. Open the schematic. Box select this part. Click Tools. Cross Probe and Place. Here we go. As we can see, the layout of the components in the PCB and the layout in the schematic are now the same. This is a resistor, LED. This is also a resistor LED. Now we need to put these components into the outline. Now we have roughly placed the components. Put this seal screen on the bottom. Adjust the position of the resistor. Space to rotate. Line the components up. Select all the resistor on the top. Click Align Top. And click Distribute Horizontally. Select these two LEDs and click Align Top. Next, we place holes around the PCB for mechanical fixing. Click the hole to set the size. Here we set the diameters of the hole to 3.2 mm. Ctrl C to copy. Now let's begin the wiring. Here you can arrange 2-layer, 4-layer, and 6-layer PCB. In this video, we will create a 2-layer PCB. We will introduce cases of 4-layer and 6-layer PCB in subsequent videos. For this 2-layer PCB, we will wire on the top layer and the bottom layer. The top layer is red, and the bottom layer is blue. We will begin the wiring on the top layer. We can see that there are a lot of small lines here. The lines are red lines. Red lines indicate the pad that need to be connected. After we connect the pads, the red line will disappear. Our goal is to connect all the wires. Click Design Manager here. Expand the options of nets. We can simplify the view by hiding the GND net. Click this pad, click the wire in the PCB tools, or hit the shortcut key W. Hit the tab to set width of the wire. Switch the unit to mill. For beginners, we recommend a thicker width settings. Here we set to 20 mils.
Here we can see that if we connect this line like this, then this line cannot be connected. So this wire needs to be placed on other layers. We start from here and got block here. Hit shortcut key B switch to the bottom layer. And here we go. We can also wire directly on the bottom layer. Click here to switch to the bottom layer and wiring. Refresh the design manager. We can see that the GND has not been connected. Check the box to display the net. You can connect them directly, but this will be a bit cumbersome. The better way is to connect GND with the copper pool. Click the copper area in the PCB tools. Select GND for the net. Then draw a frame around the PCB. Now the GND is all connected. If the GND is still not complete after copper pour, you can use wires to connect to the bottom GND copper to solve the unconnect net. Place a wear and assign the net to GND. For this PCB, the GND is finished after the top layer is poured. Therefore, the bottom layer of copper can be poured or not. Now we do not pour copper on the bottom layer. Let's check the 3D preview of the PCB. This is the top layer, the bottom layer. Now we pour copper on the bottom. Well, let's preview again. Now the copper fuel style is solid, but you can also select grid fuel style here. You can set the copper pool parameters on the right. Shift M to hide the copper and shift M again to show. Shift B to rebuild the copper pool. Adjust the position of the mounting hole. Select both of them and click button align. Do the same for another two holes. Now the value of the component is not shown. If the component value can be printed on the PCB, it will provide great convenience when soldering. We can select the component, switch the display name to yes, then the resistance of this resistor is shown. Now we can show the value of the rest of the components. Adjust the shield screen. Ctrl S to save. Shift M to show the copper pool. Set the copper fill style to solid. We can also add our logo or image on the PCB. Click the image on the PCB tools. Click select an image file. Set the image size. Switch the layer to top silk layer. Ctrl S to save. Now the PCB is complete. We can check its 2D and 3D preview.
In the next video, I will show you how to use this file to produce a PCB. Goodbye.